hey everyone welcome back guys in this video you are going to see another automation by which you can automate your repetitive tasks and save your time so here we are going to connect a booking and appointment taking application which is called book like a boss with google sheets application which is spreadsheet program so here guys uh, we have taken the example of a use case in which let's say a teacher created a booking page to take uh, appointments from his or her students for uh, doubt clearing sessions or for any type of classes so guys the teacher also wants to keep the uh, record of the data of the bookings in a spreadsheet program okay so here we are going to integrate the booking page with google sheets in such a way that he do not have to do anything manually let me show you how this is going to work so this will be the will be the flow of this automation here as in when the teacher is going to receive a new booking or appointment from his or her student from book like a boss application the booking details are going to be added in a google sheet application automatically so uh, the teacher do not have to manually sort out the details of the bookings and appointments from the students and uh, adding here the appointment details manually so it will save a huge amount of time of yours and it will streamline your repetitive tasks okay so here we are using public connect application to set up this automation and the best thing is you do not need to have any coding skills or programming knowledge to set up this automation so guys let me show you how you can also set up this automation right here so guys you need to set up this automation from the dashboard of public connect and to reach here you can use this link which is pavli.com slash connect and we have pasted it, this link in the description also from here you can set up your free pavli connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month okay so sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard okay and guys here you have to click on this create workflow button to start and here you can give any uh, suitable name to this workflow so i am giving the name here as book like a boss to google sheets automation okay okay so after filling the name just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready and here you will see the trigger and the action so automation work on these two things guys so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be a new booking happening from book like a boss application and the action towards the trigger would be to uh, send the data of the booking details into google sheets automatically so first of all you need to set up the trigger here so from this choose app field choose the booking application first which is book book like a boss this is it select it okay and the trigger event would be new booking created okay and it will give you this url this is called as a webhook url guys and it is used to fetch the details out from any external application and bring it here in public connect so with the help of this we are going to make a connection with book like a boss application by following these instructions written here and then we are going to capture the response of this webhook url okay so first of all just copy this url from here then follow follow these instructions you need to reach the settings of booking book book like a boss application okay so guys this is my book like a boss applications dashboard and here i have this settings option let me show you uh, this one other settings so click on other settings and from here you have to click on integrations and from here guys you need to scroll down and you will find this manage webhooks option here from here guys you will find this add button click on add and here you have to paste the webhook url that you got here in the workflow so just copy this and paste it here click on add and paste it here like this okay then you have to select this you have to check this created option okay so when a new booking is going to be created it is going to send the data from this application to Babli connect okay right so we have added a new webhook here now you can see as i have copied this webhook url it started showing the 
showing waiting for the webhooks response. So now guys, you have to perform a test submission and the test submission would be like the trigger event only. So you have to create a new booking inside uh, book like a boss application and that will act as a test booking for us. And we are going to capture that test data here. And with the help of that data, we are going to move forward. So guys, uh, here I have these booking pages inside uh, this application. Let me show you. Here I have this booking pages. Okay. And here I have created a booking page for a teacher for physics doubt classes. This is the booking page guys. Okay. So from here, let's say any student is taking the booking for 18th of May 2022 from 9 a.m. Okay. So it will be a half an hour session. Okay. So now the student have to fill the details of him or her. So I am filling the details as let's say Shifa Khan is filling is uh, taking this appointment. <clears throat> this is the email address of this person. Okay. This is the phone number. And here you can see I, ha I have this button book me. So I'm clicking on book me and you can see your booking has been placed. Okay. Right now let's see in our workflow if we got the data of this test booking captured or not. So here is our workflow and you can see the data of a test booking got captured here like this. So it is showing the package name, the customer name, the email address and all other details related to booking are captured here like this. Okay. So guys, here you can see we have received the date time label here. And here you can see we have received the date and the time like this in this format. And here you can see it is showing 330. But actually, we have taken the booking at 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay, but here it is showing the time as 330. It is showing it like this because uh, it captures the data in UTC format in universally converted time format. Okay, so we can convert this format into Indian standard time format as I am working in India. So to convert this format, I'm going to use a feature of public Connect, which is called date time formatter. So from this action step, you have to select date time formatter feature of Pabli. And in the action event, you have to select format date only, oh, sorry, not format date, format time zone only. Okay, this one, then click on connect. And now it is asking for the date. So here I'm going to map this label that I have received here in the first step, the date time label and to map it here, just click here and it will show you this book like a boss option in the drop down. And from here only, I'm going to map this label like this. Okay. And in the from format, just uh, keep this from format as it is because it is already selected the same format as we got here. Okay. And in the from time zone, let this be as it is. And in the, oh, sorry, in the from time zone, you have to select UTC. This is UTC. And in the two time zone, now you have to select your time zone in which you want to get it converted. So my time zone is Asia Kolkata. This is it. I'm selecting this and then click on save and send test request and you will see the time converted into Indian standard time format. It now it is showing 9 a.m. Okay, so this is how it is going to work. And uh, now I want to send these details that I have received from my booking page into a spreadsheet application, which I have here, you can see. So here I'm collecting the details of the bookings from my students in this spreadsheet. So to get the data here, you need, you need to uh, connect this spreadsheet here. Just click on this plus icon and another action step will open up. And from here, you have to search for Google Sheets application and connect it. And in the action event, select add new row option, add new row, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from this page, you have to select the Google account by which you have created that sheet, select the account. Then give some additional access to public connect to make this connection, just click on continue that is completely safe. Okay, you can see we are getting connected with Google Sheets. Okay. 
So you can see we are now connected and now it is asking to select the spreadsheet that you have created. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the sheets that you have created till now in the Google Sheets application. And from here only you can search for your sheet, which is this, you can see the name of my sheet is book like a boss appointments. And here it is showing the showing it in the list. So select it from here only. And you can see the sheets name will be selected automatically because we have only one sheet here named as sheet one and it got selected here. Now it is asking for the customer name, the email, the appointment time and the event name. So these are nothing but the headers of the columns that I have here. So to get these get this data filled here, you need to map the values of these headers from the first step and the second step. Okay, so to map the data, just click here on this field and you will find the previous two steps in the drop down. And from the first step, map the customer name label like this. Okay, for the customer email, use the same way. Map the email. For the appointment time, now you have to select the appointment time from the second step where we have converted the format of the time from UTC to IST. So select the result label from the second step and the event name you will find the event name here as this physics doubt class right now we have mapped the data and you can see we have uh, six rows here right now so let's check our connection with google sheet i'm going to click on save and send test request and you you will see a new row is going to be added here automatically so i'm clicking on save and send test request <clears throat> this is the response we have received let's check in the spreadsheet if we got the data and you can see the data arrives here like this. Okay, so connection with spreadsheet is working really fine here. And we are done setting up this automation. And here guys, you have to set up this automation only once. After that, as and when any of your customer is going to take an appointment with you, the data and the uh, details of the booking and the appointment will be delivered here in the spreadsheet automatically. Okay, so you have to set up this automation only once. Like this, you have to connect book like a boss in the trigger, make this connection, fetch the test data like this. After that, convert the time and map this date time format here. So why we map these things, you can see we have mapped the date time label here and we have mapped the customers and booking details here from the first step. So when you map the data, what will happen whenever you receive a new booking, the labels are going to change here automatically and you will receive a new data every time with a new booking here in the spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, and the best part is you can use the same workflow that I've created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.